And this your boy Young Zoo, man. Big shots at the Dirty Daily, man. You know, y'all can follow me on all social media at Young Zoo, Y U N G Z U. Solid Foundation, the Motion Boys, for real, no cap. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Starter Cam checking in one time for the one time, representing Dirty Daily, and I'm back again with another Dirty Daily podcast. And bring it to the table, bring it to the stage, come to the stage, man. Welcome in my brother from Zone 3, my brother from Atlanta, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? Young Zoo in the building. Young Zoo checking in, representing Solid Foundation. What up, Young yeah, Zoo? man. What it do, what it do, what it do? Good to be yeah. here, man. Ready to turn up, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, Zoo Genius, let, let's talk, let's, let's, let's get to the business. Let's get to the business first. Let's let them know about this business we got going. So Zoo Genius out now. Um, Everywhere. T- tell us, tell us a little bit how that came together, how that project came together. Shit. First of all, in, in my couple interview, I was saying, me and June got them, we just were there doing what we were doing and just made history, but come to find out the truth. You know, I, I got the black and white. It was MLK idea, you feel me? Okay. So that's like DJ MLK. He hosted that motherfucker for me, by the way. But it, they say it was all his idea. I thought it was just, you know what I'm saying? Some shit we were just doing. But MLK, he had the thought, and we just put it together, and we went with it. You know what I'm saying? And, of course, shout out to MLK. MLK has been doing uh, mixtapes. For those who don't know, DJ MLK is also T.I.'s DJ, his official role DJ. But DJ MLK has been doing mixtapes for the longest like since i since i was a jit since i even knew how to download mixtapes. i always wanted to do one with them <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's a solid situation that's a solid foundation situation right there for real for real now no um, no care and ML- dj screen shouts out to him too for sure and those are two pioneer mixtape djs for sure so l- let us know a little bit about young zoo you know what i'm saying young zoo is from atlanta let them know a little bit about, about more about where you come from and your story. Young Zoo from, you know, he's from Zone 3 Atlanta, you know, John vs. South, that is. But used to, but I lived around down near the whole Atlanta, though. So, you know, I was some, some area where that's why I get the love I get, because I was never just stuck in my hood. I always kept it silent, so I can just move around, you feel me? I ain't had to be in one spot. Right. But Young Zoo, you know, he's a good energy, good vibing, inspirational. Always trying to change some shit from bad to good type shit. So you know he's a good spirit type of guy with zero tolerance though. And that's and that's and that's an attestment to, um, you know, your upcoming. You know what I mean? Your upbringing and just like I guess like a lot of the people that you were brought up around. You feel what I'm saying? Like I yeah, even couple, noticed uh, nem- nem- some nem- some old heads. <laughs> right. I even noticed that you um that you posted something about um rest his, rest rest his soul. Uh, uh, Diesel, Diesel promo. Oh yeah, that's my brother. He yes. was at every show I did. He ain't miss a show. Shouts out to Diesel, Long Live Diesel. Yes. He original rock rock boy though, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying so, he gonna let it be known. Exit two forty one, man. And that's one thing I feel like I feel like in Atlanta <laughs> is like when you say that he was at every show. I feel like in Atlanta, Atlanta supports when I go out to other countries and other states. Um, a lot of people, they say that their city don't support them. But one thing I know about Atlanta is that Atlanta has it to where the Southern hospitality term kind of like reigns supreme. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people come out. I feel like, support. I feel like Atlanta, Atlanta support, but it'd be more hatred than support. So mm. they'll be hanging on you and still come to your shit just <laughs> to see. That's crazy. What can they catch on the camera? So it'd be right. the crazy support. It'd be the weird support. It'd be the cautious support, really. Mm. So, I mean, would you say it was a lot of clout chasers in Atlanta? For sure. Mm. For sure. Now, I, mean, I, I don't even call them clout chasers no more because people get the word clout chasers misinterpreted. You know, they're called a nigga that's a pointer nigga, like a motherfucker, a clout chaser. And he really mm. pointing it. Oh, he's just a nigga who he is. Hell no, nah, they been supporting from behind. I don't really know what chasing is no more. Mm. Yeah, but I don't really know there no more. I mean, but now that you now that you've got your new project out, you know what I'm saying, and you still are, of course, getting the support in the streets, and you still getting the support um, around the land. You feel what I'm saying? Let's let's say For what sure. what what do you see? What do you see the next six months? Like, where do you see yourself? Is there another project coming, or are you gonna push a new single? Like, what do you see yourself in the next six months from now? Next next six months, me personally, I see myself. 
Oh, I probably, I probably have probably like 10 tapes out though. <laughs> I probably fully, I probably fully loaded out of there. I'm so you plan on dropping a lot of projects like over the, over the I'm next trying, year? I'm man? trying to right now. I'm just getting all of it together. I got probably like five projects already ready. EPs from albums and shit. I just, I'm just, they just sing, you know what I'm saying? Due to the fact all this stuff going on. So I'm just trying to outwork everybody really. And you have been, I've been seeing that you've been doing a lot of appearances and popping up at different places. What's, what's oh, been yeah, your I take on the streets, Lord? That shit you ain't gonna be able to get back when you fame me. And, and what's been your take <laughs> on this whole, on this pandemic? Like, how do you, how do you move with the pandemic? Like, are you out there wearing a mask or you, you know, you got no, asthma? I'm wearing, suit? Um, right here, though. <laughs> In my mask right here, man. Fuck that. This it. <laughs> now that's different. <laughs> I ain't seen one of them. I ain't no. seen one of them. That that's different. That's like the just, uh ski mask. Uh yeah, just throw me a little hoodie on uh right. hat and I'm up there. <laughs> oh, you need oh you need to go ahead and make some of those, like just there's all different kinds right there. I like that. I'm I beat them bought one of them. Yeah, okay, so like I mean, being that the pandemic has been so hard on us and we've been able to see a lot of different things change for, for yeah. everybody. What what's one thing that you tell people or what's one thing that you've learned? Um, from this pandemic, just don't let this shit break your scribe, man. Cause if you weak, it'll tear you down, and mm. you'll forget what your purpose is here. Cause this shit done took a turn so bad that people giving up on themselves, like it's over with, that like, they can't handle it. Like, right. but in me, the pandemic remind me of some shit. Honestly, like when I was back in prison, I was in the pandemic then. Mm. Shit, so it was just it just kind of make me just like, oh yeah, let me get back in survival mode. You feel me? But niggas supposed to already been on it. Well, people around the world supposed to already been on it survival mode for times like this. It's gonna come again and again and again and again. It's just gonna be different ways it coming. So let me ask like, you this. I, you know, my bad, but no, I feel like the pandemic, like the same shit like the recession was. It's just another name. Right. <laughs> and I feel like that you're absolutely right. I feel like right now, um, our community. Um, needs to take this pandemic seriously. You know what I mean? I feel like if, nah, if sure. especially because they're saying that reports are saying that African Americans are more susceptible to transmission of the virus. So like we can catch it quicker than our counterparts. You know what I'm saying? Quicker than the white people pretty much. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So we got to be more careful when we're out there. Now, even being beyond that, um, this upcoming election is coming up. Um, we got Donald Trump and you've got Joe Biden. Um, which side of the which side of the playing field are you on right now when it comes to um, election and, and about just in general on voting in general? Honestly, I don't. I don't know. Tell me the truth now, so we need to know because see, like one thing I know for sure is our community does not vote. I know it for sure, and it's and it's been proven that within the past election, whereas there was about a thousand absentee ballots. Posted, I don't really like politics, though. though. No, and you know, honestly, I'm an independent. When like it comes to politics, I'm independent. Politics. But I have to ask this question because it's vital to our community, and it's and it's and it's the thing, the thing that the stigma that we have is that we don't like politics. And I, I agree with you. I don't like politics either, but we have to talk about it because it's just it like it's just like a religion thing, politics. <laughs> it is, but it you'll be going all day. Oh no, and that's is my thing. It's like. Where do you stand on encouraging people to vote? Do you feel like voting is important? It is important because it's your it's your destiny. It gonna de it gonna it gonna determine what play out in your life the way you want to play out in a way. Right. Cause they control this shit. But me, I I ain't voted yet. I ain't really got into all that because I don't know. This shit crazy, man. The world's starting to be more. You feel me? It's, you starting to see way more clear, so it like, it like, damn. You will fuck around and end up think you voting for the right person, and end up voting for some whole totally bullshit. You see what I'm saying? I I understand where you're coming from, and I think that's why, I think that's why we as uh as a people have to encourage our people to go and get these kind of jobs. If we want to see change, we need to encourage our people that are in support of us. You know what I'm saying? Like people that want to see us you know, achieve things. People that want to see us do great. People that want to see us be better. They need to be the ones that go into the office and start saying, it shouldn't have, it shouldn't have been a first black president more than eight years ago. You feel what I'm saying? You like, been. It's, it's been just, black we president. We've been had a black president. 
period. You feel what I'm saying? But I feel like Thanks. if we continue to, you know, advocate on wanting change and not implementing our, you know, our own people, like my kids, like if my kid says he wants to go into politics, I'm not going to tell him no. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? I'm going to encourage him. I'm going to encourage him and say, yo, this is what you're going to go through. You're going to struggle. You're going to fight. You're going to have to deal with a lot of oppression. <laughs> but yeah, and they had to go to war. <laughs> I'm telling you. But, I mean, I feel like it, it, it needs to be spoken about in that regard. Now, not necessarily saying that, hey, you need to go vote for him or you need to go for, vote for him. But I, I honestly feel like on some real shit, though, my boy, I feel like the the entertainers changing more than the goddamn president is doing. Yeah. Yeah. And you're right. So and that's the, that's who changing the world. It's it take for niggas like us to get together who influences right. and change the shit. The presidents they just got a title and a right. label and it's a fucking chair just sit with a button. Of it. What the fuck they? They got don't know, but it's because that kid is down the street lies and shit. We doing that. They ain't doing that. Nah, that's real. I mean, I think the one children thing is, listening to more of the entertainers than the than what they talking about. Children don't understand nothing the politics going on, but the rap song they singing it at two, one, three. They know word for word. It is, so it takes for niggas without their influence and children to pick the guns up, go spin shit. It takes for them niggas to do the right thing and say some good shit, man. Well, what? Because the president ain't gonna change it all. What do you want your legacy to be, Young Zoo? Because I feel like right now in this in this day and age. We lose, we lose people before they're able to even achieve their legacy. Long live Nipsey Hussle, right? Nah, for sure. You feel what I'm saying? And I ain't really know about Nipsey, but yeah. once he passed away and I saw what happened, I salute him from here on that. And I watched, band, the, I pay him. I wait, I watched the documentary on how he lived his life, and trust and believe that this page in your in your in your story of life is gonna be told to everybody. This year that you for lived sure. out where you had to struggle through the pandemic and still trying to push your music and still trying to achieve your goals. Um, but what do you want people to remember when they hear the name Young Zoo? What do you want them to remember? He always kept it silent. And everything that ever came out of his mouth, he wanted to see people do better, even though the one that hated on him. Right. I still wanted them to do better. It was never no fuck them because they say fuck me. Keep going. Do what you need to do. Go harder than me. Don't say fuck me, show me you can outwork me, that's all. Right. It always just good energy when it comes towards people, no matter what, I'm always inspiring people, giving people hope. Even when you down, I'ma lift you up with zero. I'ma just yeah. show you the way. I just wanna be that nigga that, I ain't no Martin Luther King type of nigga. Cause Martin Luther King, he let shit slide, I don't. Hmm. But I'm man gonna change a lot of shit though, good way though, not the bad way, put the gun down, no that's cap. Weird. That's real. So I mean, now in this in this day and age, now we got we got a we got a, a new project from Young Zoo. Uh, a lot of different a lot of different uh, vibes on this on this first project. Now this it's next real. project on this next project, I, I seen I'm getting you, a little ratchet. I seen you say in your neck in your dirty glove interview that you was doing some different things on this on this next project. You letting you. You let your nuts hang on this next project pretty much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Which I can I definitely- I humble too long. I will humble five behind. No, then I got right. out, humble some more. They ain't, they ain't, they, they don't understand yet. So I got to get to them raw a little bit. Okay. Just a little. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all, my brother. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Now, I, and I've seen you in this, in on, on Cleveland Avenue. There's There's been so many different acts to come out of Cleveland Avenue, right? Who are some of the upcoming acts that you that you see that are like kind of like alongside you that are, are are on the same path with you and that you that you kind of like you know trying to bring with you from Cleveland Avenue? I ain't gonna say what you mean like bring with me like I mean well, like kind of like the that niggas you, who I know coming then I'm yeah Nick, Nick come on don't give me the fluff life, I don't want the fluff life, I want the okay we are the young Slime nigga, life shout up he got something to say. Okay. He really talking from that shit from, you know what I'm saying? What we going through, he ain't dressing it up at all. The young nigga hard. Okay. The nigga be slime. Okay. He different, different. Different, different. They just ain't paying attention. They just like, oh, that's thug nephew. He going to go regard. No, he got to listen. Okay. I don't care who you is. I listen to this shit. I want to know what you talking about. Don't mumble to me. <laughs> uh, just be around these motherfuckers <laughs> trying to put words together and make it sound like some swag shit. Open your mouth, nigga. Say what you mean and mean what you say. That's real. And these niggas own name and they open their mouth when they rap. You see what I'm saying? Come on now. Shouts out to Money Game Boo. We got a video dropping Wednesday. 
Okay. Called 400 Degree, me and me on uh, Rich Gang, J-Dog. They're going to be hard. It's going to be a little hard video. But Cleveland, Cleveland Avenue, Zone 3 period, got a lot of good talent, though. It just, we, it, them, them niggas just be so hit by the flamboyant shit. Mm. And you know, it's some real nigga from Zone 3, we different. We ain't going to do shit just to get where we need to go. We're going right. to keep that shit silent, most of us anyway. Right. I think, while we I think, still running around doing what we doing. I think a lot a of time. I, I think a lot of the talent too is just you know very underestimated because mm -hmm. of, you know it's, it's so much talent out here and it's and it's easy to get overlooked. Like oh, yourself. Shouts out, shouts out to Cold G too. I can't forget about Cold G. Cold G is a general. Cold G's the been nigga, in the streets for the a nigga, minute, man. This nigga there. Now that's Mister Underrated. Okay. No cap. Okay. Okay. When you mentioned underrated. That's what I think about Cold G. No cap. And I think, and I think one thing, one thing we miss is just being able to do that and just say, "Hey, this guy is dope." Like a lot of people, but niggas don't want to do that no more because niggas are haters. Exactly. Niggas don't want to give nigga they prop because you like, "Oh, I'm harder than you." A uh, nigga, if you if I put you on a song and you harder than me, you might catch a deal before me. Niggas just, I don't know. I don't care who make it, nigga. As long as you made it out of this bullshit world we living in, man, and you doing better for you and yours, man. You don't owe nobody nothing, man. Right. That's my opinion. Just do it, do right by your family, man, so God can keep it going. You know what I'm saying? So once outside, you do wrong by them churches and your family, it gets snatched away so fast. That's real. So outside of the music, outside of the music, what else is Young Zoo uh, collaborating and putting together outside of the music? I don't know. I've been, I know I do. I can't tell people. I mean, I, I surprise a lot of people. Well, it's, but and, you, that's, and that's I got okay. A lot of shit coming though soon, though, man. I got yeah. Zoo Genius Two coming soon. Okay. With me and June the James. Shouts out to June the Genius. Know what I'm saying the super producer he lit right now. Yeah, I got, I got, I got some, I got a couple EP dropping soon, like this year. Shit that okay. I'm doing this year, I'm trying to drop Zoo Genius Two this year. I'm trying to drop a couple EPs that I already got ready. And you know, I don't know, I might. I don't know, man. I'm I'm un, I'm unorganized right now, but I'm like the spare of the moment type of nigga. I pop okay. up like the element of surprise. So when you do pop out and surprise these people with uh with your new with your new project, how 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 many songs do you think are gonna be on this next project? I guarantee it probably be lesser than what Zoo Jeans Two had. Okay. I mean Zoo Jeans One. Okay, it's on the first project. Okay. I'm going to make it lesser, though. Because what you I been... give you on that, you're going to be like, you're going to fiend for more. So I got to make it like that. Okay. It's all a mind thing, man. I, I got to leave it in the delusion. So the the people that, that have heard Zoo Genius, right, what are the top three songs on this first project that you feel like people should really go and listen to, listen to? Like, just yeah, you played it the first time, but now I need you to go and listen to it word for word. Give me I feel three like, of them. I feel like people should listen to my opinion that I know if yeah. you hear this motherfucker, you're gonna feel how you feel about Young Zoo. Yeah. Hell and back. Hell and back. You gotta pay attention to that song because people ain't posting it enough. So I know they ain't heard it. Okay. Hell and back far. The last song on the mixtape. You can't be hearing that because I don't see it getting posted enough. That motherfucker, them um, mirrors. Mirrors. That's you see. I was waiting on you to say people, mirrors. People, people are already they catching on the mirrors. I they like mirrors, like, bro. You I can't ain't gonna lie to you. To look in the mirror, man. Nah, that's when you when you when you did the song mirrors. What was really like? Where were you? Where were you at in your state of mind? Like I was back I, in prison. Oh, so you wrote cell. that in prison? No. Okay. I ain't writing that on Zoo Jean. Okay. I wrote. But one that's song where your mind Zoo was. Jean. Okay, I got you. My okay. mind was back in that cell, me sitting on that, that, that iron bump with the mat pulled back, mm. being on that motherfucker with, with, with four more years left. Hmm. Looking in that little, that little um, what it call it, that aluminum mirror. I know exactly what you're talking about. I've been in that, been in that room before, boy. Uh, it, just, it just brought back them memories. Mm. When you go on lockdown, when you just stuck, when you ain't got no option, when you ain't got no... You can, what you can do, you, you gotta listen, nigga. So it brain, when you look in that mirror, it's just like, damn. I don't know, my different, when I look in the mirror, it, it pop up like a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Different personalities. So I just be like, damn, boy, what you gonna do? I'm you know what I'm I, talk, I have a talk to myself and it just came out, look in the mirror, what do I see? I don't see nobody but me. So I can't blame nobody for nothing. 
as a young kid growing up, we always played the blame game type shit. Like when we do something, we'll try to hurry up and blame somebody so we can get out of it. Right. And wait to catch up later on and find out we did it. But we long gone, so we ain't gonna get as much ass with me as we'll get right then. <laughs> you know what's crazy is too, I'm I'm glad you mentioned that. As a young kid, a lot of young kids right now, especially in our community, a lot of young kids are are being tricked. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like they're being tricked into thinking that uh, a lifestyle that may not be for them is the lifestyle that they should lead. So, like, like I was watching the news the other day, and there was this 14-year-old kid who yeah. was – he had just killed a pizza man, right? He had just killed the pizza man, and they robbed him or, or took his car or whatever, and he got on social media and was laughing about it, Right? There's a mm -hmm. kid right now that may be watching you, young Zoo. I'm going to tell you this yes. right now, because that's one thing I've always learned in my lifetime is that our kids are watching. Our kids are our future. So they always watching us. To they see always what to do. looking. Because I was watching my OGs to see what they was doing in order to learn how to move right. You feel what I'm saying? So what yes. do you tell that young kid that is watching young Zoo right now? Or what do you even tell a young Zoo at, at 14 years old that is on the come up right now? Or as come up as like if he trying to do music or just in do general, life. like what what do you oh, yeah, tell the, sure. the young the young generation? What do you tell the young generation from your own perspective of how how they should you know how they should move in these streets? First of all, get out the streets because it's not what's going on, man. It's flamboy. It's made up. It's dressed up. You ain't really getting the three D vision like you. You know what I'm saying? Like they tell you about jail. They only tell you what to scare you. They don't tell you you can make money and feed your family and do this and do that. And they just put the scare straight on you. So it's just, I tell you, man, stay out the street, man. Cause this shit is not for everybody, man. This shit break a nigga down, man. This shit, I don't know, man. This shit just, this shit ain't got worse. Your streets yeah. ain't where they used to be. And back then, when I was growing up around the OG, the streets had morals and respect. Niggas didn't knew how to move and nigga didn't disrespect the others, but this generation ain't no morals. So it kinda hard just to tell the new nigga or the new kid or the new whatever right now with how to move, cause they ain't listening. Mm. Like yeah, they ain't gonna listen. They they just gonna listen to who got the biggest gun on Instagram, who uploading it and talking about what he finna do in an act button. <laughs> and they thinking like they really, but the generation they don't know the rappers don't know that the generation really taking heed of that and going to go do it though. Right, right, right. Cause they think you really doing it. So they like, this is my favorite rapper. I'm finna go do it too. I just tell nigga, man, don't listen to none of that, man. Believe in yourself. Follow yourself. You know what I'm saying? You don't need nobody for real. Cause once yourself, if yourself steer yourself wrong, you ain't got nobody to blame but you. So when I went to prison, I ain't had no blame game. I ain't telling myself. I just took what they gave me and right. took it like a man and came back home. There was no talking with y'all because I ain't got nothing to say. That's real. And, and so I, I think that young nigga, man, keep scribing, man. Just go for what you believe in. Fall for something or you don't fall for anything. Mm -hmm. Just don't, just, just don't just listen, man. Observe more and shut up. That's all. Cause young niggas just talk so much that they're over here with the real plan is. You see what I'm saying? That's real. So you gotta just listen. See, I do more listening than talking. That why I don't be all in the way. I observe a lot, man. So I'm teaching young niggas how to observe, man. Cause where do you'll you catch what you want. When you when you when you're in a state of mind, right? Where do you go for support? Who is who is a big support system for young zoo? Like, do you go to a, a specific, because I know a lot of people, they go, you know, some people meditate, some people do yoga, some people eat, some people work out. What does Young Zoo do to keep his mind in a good mind frame? The studio. It's real. I like running to the studio, though. Like, when I'm going through a lot, 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 like, when my sister passed, this is the first place I went to. When my mom passed, first place I went to. When I'm going through a lot of problems, don't know what to do. Feel like crash night, I go to the yo and just put it all on the song. I don't know, the studio do something to me though. It was like a hobby or something, like a healing thing to me. Hmm. I like music though, I love music, I love writing. People ain't seen to have yet, by the way. Cause when I start getting very, 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 very comfortable, and cause I'm in the middle of getting us a studio right now, Solid Foundation, big shots out to us, and have our own studio. That's dope. 
So congratulations on that. That's it. They're going. It's going. It's going to bring a little more out of me than that I got now because I'm buying studio time here and there and going places and keeping up with the music, losing music. So it really like a, you know, the grind, man. No, I it's know the, it. I know it. It's the grind. That's real. <laughs> like it, but you know, once a person gets comfortable, sit down and be stable. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a beautiful thing. It's definitely gonna be a beautiful thing because I can hear one thing about you is I can definitely hear your versatility. You I can hear your versatility in your music. Like your music ain't just one track minded. Like Hell you can nah, switch it up. One track minded. So so when you switch it up, like your your mentality is you can tell that your mentality is not all in one place. Like you're you're able to go here and you're able to go there. What's what's one what's one song that that people may not know, or what's some what's the type of genre of music that Young Zoo is listening to that people may not know that you're listening to? Outside of rap. Adele. Okay. That's that low key. I love Adele. She really okay. can sing, you know, like, oh, God. She can sing like a motherfucker. But I think I got hooked to Adele in that cell. <laughs> so I listen. <laughs> she just had me going, to, man. She, she got hooked to Adele side. in that cell, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, but you get it, you get it, you get it, you get it. Your mentality you get from listening to hype music to R and B to super R and B. Nah, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. But I mean, it, it puts your mind in a different place. Of, it it yeah. just puts your mind in a different place when you listening to. But by the way, music. By the way, don't go to jail, but that was the best thing ever in the world that happened to me beside mm. my children. Cause if I went and went to jail, ain't no telling where I'd be. I ain't trying to think about it, but I'm just thankful that I'm here today talking to you, steady going up on niggas, man. Oh, that's real. That's real. And I've been watching your grind since, whoo, since the way back, man. I think back in 2012, 2013. Oh, yeah. That was, you know what I'm that saying? was 12, 13. That right was. before you went in, like, I, I was watching. You were still doing music then. Like, you were serious. Yeah. Like, and to see you go from 2013 to 2020 and see where you're at now, bro. Is an attestment that God got something planned for you, man. I wish you yeah. the best. Nothing much, nothing more, and nothing less than more success. You feel what I'm saying? I wish you the best, and, I, and you know, keep going, bro. Just keep going. Nah, keep for doing sure, what man. You're you know, doing. keep going. Keep hitting y'all with the exclusive every time. You know what I'm saying? And every time, and this is on Wednesday when you drop this new release, let me see it. Let me, you know, send it to me. Let's get that thing uploaded to the, the Dirty yeah. Daily Way. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. Like for real. <laughs> you <laughs>